So the next feature I want to show you is the ability to take your export file from an HH Image Host prepay event and import that directly into HH Schools and have it automatically match the package information to the correct subjects. Prior to this new feature, you would have had to export that file out and manually enter that information one at a time. It's a very slow and tedious process. Now what you can do after you've exported that file is come up to your project menu, come down here to package order imports, select HH Image Host prepay v2 export file. That's the file that we're going to import into this project. We'll navigate to where that file is located, open it up, and you've seen this dialog before. This is basically when we import a data file into HH Schools showing us how the headers match up. Everything looks good. We're going to hit import. Um, in this particular file there are 129 orders. So this first dialog that comes up, this is all of the subject data from HH Image Host that is matching to the subject data in your project. So as you can see here, there's our subject data from the Image Host and this is the project data that uh, the import is matching to. It shows you that it's a good match by the check mark. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of that to import and match. Then, as you can see here, with, these are our manual match dialogs. These are the subjects that don't have a good solid match uh, based upon the requirements for this import. And there's one of 12 subjects that I have to manually match by viewing the data. So 129 orders. There are 117 that were a good match. I only have 12 that I have to manually match. And it's a simple process that with each one of these dialogues, I'm going to see the image host data. There's Leopold Aldridge, kindergarten, Mrs. Allen. And it's trying to match it to, as its best guess, uh, last name Leopold Aldridge. There's a value of K in the project and KA for the teacher. So K probably is kindergarten. KA is probably Mrs. Allen. I'm going to select to match and go to my next one. So as you can see in viewing this, you go through it. You can select all the ones that are good matches. Anything that isn't a match, you'll skip. That'll end up in an exception report that you use to kind of, uh, at, at the end of the import process, take that information and manually figure out how that's supposed to be uh, imported into the project.